Okay, guys, so thank you for coming on. I know that this is our very first ever Sunday Team Zoom, so that's exciting. Thanks for being able to switch as I am not able to do it on Mondays for the next few months. Um, but we are going into what we used to do, like getting back to the basics, launching your new distributor and getting helping them get their business up and going. They don't know what they're doing yet, so it's like your job to help them do that. So everything that we do is duplicatable. We do the same thing over and over. So it makes it really simple. And I have created some stuff for our team to use so that it's even simpler for you and everything is customizable to you, which is great. Everything you're gonna see tonight, you can have, you can use, and you can use it over and over and over again. So holla. Okay, so first of all, I wanna jump into Preparing yourself for next month. Can you guys hear me or can you hear my husband and son laughing in the background? Mm -hmm. Okay, you good? Okay. Um, I'm going to share my screen. <clears throat> share. Okay, can you guys see what I'm doing? Can you see this? My mouse moving? Can you see this? The August calendar. Nod your head if you can see it. Cool. Okay. So I want you tonight to go to Pinterest, type in August 2019 calendar, print one out if you have an iPad and you can use GoodNotes, save it to your GoodNotes, and you're going to create your content calendar. The new month starts on Thursday. So that gives you three days to write in your content calendar. Um, once I upload this to the team page, I'm gonna show you two videos that I watched that really help put in perspective how to create a content calendar and to do it efficiently in one day, okay? So uh, it was really good for me. So I want you guys to print this out and get yourself prepared for next month. If you have stuff written down that you're going to talk about, you're gonna be, it's gonna be so much easier to stay consistent and um, not feel like last minute, oh no, what do I do? I don't know what to talk about and then have nothing to talk about. So remember your five core things that like make you who you are, make sure those stay pretty solid throughout your calendar. So if you wanna talk about your kids, you wanna talk about your husband, um, traveling, hiking, um, sharing shopping stuff on your stories, whatever it is that you, or is like making you who you are, if you're really good at makeup, make, make that a part of your thing. So in your stories, have something on your left hand side. Like I usually like to write my stuff that I'm gonna talk about in my stories, and I talk about that all week long. So whether it's like, I'm gonna talk about cleanse all week long, then I can make stories in advance and use the same wording with different pictures every day. And it makes it easy, because you're gonna reuse your words. No brainer there. And then also, like I'm also gonna be talking about keto coffee and chocolate greens every day because I use it every day, so I'm gonna show myself making it. Also, ask people if you can interview them. Get that in your schedule, what time you're gonna be interviewing them on your story, and what time. Make sure that your time zones are correct because we have team members all over the United States. You wanna get that time correct for them and for you, so nothing falls through the cracks. And um, so if you're going to talk about cleanse, reach out to someone who had great cleanse results and say, hey, can I interview you on Wednesday about your cleanse results? And maybe you could share us your before and after pictures. The next week, you're talking about keto coffee and chocolate greens. Reach out to people that have had good results on that. That is what is going to bring people to you because you're talking to people, they're sharing their experience, and they see that who you've been posting about are real people. Be consistent. So let's get that content calendar out, finished, done by Wednesday. Okay, guys, we're not gonna, we're not slacking in August. We're not. We got, we got too much stuff to do, and so we're gonna keep moving forward. So another thing that you're gonna be doing in August is booking parties because parties you get a lot of volume, parties you get a lot of results from, and it's easy and it's fun. So I'm gonna show you how to book a party, how to get your new distributors launched, and what the heck to do at one because it's not hard. Okay, first of all, when you sign a new distributor, you need to create something for them to send to their friends about coming to their party. So I'm gonna show you, I guess I should stop sharing my screen so you can see <clears throat> what we got going on here. 
I made this in over. So what's cool about when you make something in over, the template stays just how it is. So you can change out each person's information as you need it. So if you launch, if you sign a new distributor and you're saying, all right, let's get you launched, whether they're in person or they're far away, they can use this to invite people and you just change the wording. So I made this, it's a try it party and you can put their name in there, the address that they're going to be at the RSVP number and what's going to be going on. So at the top it says come for fun, girl time and yummy samples. So they already know what's going to happen, the date, the time. And like I said, the address, the person who's hosting it <clears throat> and you can change this and over, you can change all that information as you need it for each new distributor. And you're going to send that to your new distributor and say, Hey, send this to as many girlfriends that are local that'll come and support you. And I'll do the rest. You might be scared. You don't have to be awesome at anything. If you can press next on a slide and talk about the product, then you can launch somebody. So what if someone is not local? What if they live far away and you're going to launch them? Book an online rap party. Okay. So you're going to have them create the group, add you to the group so that you are admin and you can post for them. So I'm going to show you guys what I created for our team to use over and over and over again for parties, whether it's online or in person. And I've done both. I did an, I did an in-person Friday. Burr, 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 burr. I did an in-person party with Brooke on Friday and I was able to use this slideshow. And all I did was connect my laptop to the TV with a cord and I can show you what that looks like. And it's the same cord that you could use, plug into your phone to the TV and you just swipe. Same thing. So it's really easy. You don't have to have a laptop to do this. If you have a phone, plugs in, plugs into the HDMI, and they all see it on their screen. So I can put the, the Amazon thing into the comments too once we're done. <clears throat> and this is what it looks like, guys. Everything, we can put your name in it. Let me share my screen again. <clears throat> You guys see what I'm doing? Make sure I'm not showing you stuff you can't see. You see? Me? Yes. Can you see? I can't see anyone shaking their heads. <laughs> okay. Rachel, I can see your face. Can you? Nope. Rachel, you're gone. <laughs> can someone just shake their head if you can see my screen? Okay. Thank you. All right, so this is what I made for us. <clears throat> so it's a step-by-step -step posting that you can save onto your phone and post it step-by-step. -step. Very easy. Or if you're at an in-person party, you save the images and then you just slide next and we can put your name here instead of mine. Everything is customizable, like I said. Um, and everything is so simple. And I wanted to show you for, so this is for in-person party or online. Another thing that I created is, move that out of the way, is I created words to post with each slide for parties. So you don't have to do anything crazy. It's so simple. I have a couple products. So if there's a product you love that is not in here, we could customize it and add that in. Put your own words in there. I don't know why the defining gel picture isn't there, but it should be. My pictures aren't there. What's going on? Mm. That's strange. Well, either way, I'll keep showing you guys. And maybe it's just like I need to revamp it up. Um, but all of this, that's driving me crazy. I'm just going to show you in my images because now it doesn't look like how I wanted it to. And I'm not good at technology, so I don't know how to get there. <laughs> oh dear. No, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to get to it. That's why I always have everything set up ready to go. But anywho, like all of these have pictures on each one. The images are there. I think I just need to refresh it and it'll, it'll show up. But you can save all of these images, change it to your name, and use it over and over and over again 
for your face-to-face -face parties or your online party. And like, this is my before and after picture, so you could put yours in instead. Or you could use mine and just say, this is my friend Tara, guys. So something like that. And um, I want to show you a video on how you can actually pre schedule your post for an online party. So I did a party for someone just before doing this Zoom and I scheduled everything so I didn't have to forget about something or if I got busy with something and I couldn't post, I already scheduled it so it would do it. So I'm gonna hop on here and show you the little video of how to do it. Okay, I share my screen. Perfect. So this is exactly step by step on how to schedule your post for an online party. Okay, so you see here, I already have like two posts scheduled. So I have my third post going in. It's the defining gel. I put the words in there. And now I'm just going to hit the little clock at the bottom. And I'm doing everything three minutes apart. So the last one was at 03. So now I'm doing this one at 06. Eastern time zone and schedule it. And now I have three scheduled posts. So I'm going to keep going. So yeah, it's really easy. Let me get out of here so it's not echoing. <clears throat> it's very easy to do. I have everything made for you guys. So it's up to you guys to schedule these parties. Get people face to face with you. Do you have any loyal customers that live nearby that have liked using the products that you could just reach out and say, hey, could, I, could you do a party with me? If you sign a new distributor, can get them to book a party that you do everything for them within the first two weeks of them signing. Like hand them all the tools and do it for them. That is like our job. And when you do that, they're gonna get excited. They're gonna get the customers right away. They're gonna sign distributors because that it's, it's like our job to help them get started. And they're gonna see from the very beginning how to run a successful business and they'll do the exact same thing because they'll have these exact same tools. So it's not hard, it's very easy. Everything is made for you. If you want to change some of the words up, that's fine, but you save everything in your notes and you use over and over again. Does this make sense? Do you have questions? No. Okay, so there was one other thing that I wanted to add. So say someone wants to have an in-person party, but they live 7 million miles away. How do you do that? Have them get the people there at their house, Start talking, like let them start talking and mingling and hanging out. And then you can actually FaceTime into the party. So you could be at your home with the cute top on, pajama bottoms on, chilling and showing the products for them, talking about them because they probably don't have products. So you can show them the sizes of things, give your personal experience with it. And it doesn't have to be anything long. Like you could be on and off in 15, 20 minutes, just talking about a few products or if people had questions, do that. But one thing that I do want you to do, no matter if it's in face or online, you are putting a wrap on somebody. The wrap will get you customers. If you're in face with someone and you got a bunch of girls and they don't want to do it, we threw a wrap on a dude and he got awesome results. And guess what? When he came upstairs and showed those results, everybody was getting their phones out to order. Everybody got, they're like, what's your website? How do I, what do I do? Wow. Those results were so good. And I gave him an incentive. If you order tonight, I will give you a wrap in behalf of the host. Because like I have wraps. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, when they're BOGO, I buy a bunch of them, so I have them for you to use for you guys. So, like, that got them excited because they saw his results, and they were like, man, I got to do this. 
tonight I did an online wrap party. I wrapped myself. So I'm going to be sharing my before and after pictures in that group from tonight. So it doesn't matter if it's in person, whatever, throw a wrap on someone, show what these products can do because they will get so excited about what these products are doing. Like, wow, this, this wrap thing worked and everything they've talked about tonight's got to work. And then they're just adding more stuff into their cart and you're getting huge orders. I promise you it's true. Don't look at me like I got five heads. <laughs> so get it in your schedule this month to get three parties, whether it's in face or online, because I promise you once the ball starts rolling, it gets easier and easier and easier. And all of a sudden, like you're launching and you're getting other people started and you're getting all this volume in and your business is going to start picking up again. It doesn't have to be this big ordeal where you sit down for an hour, get them girls some drinks first. Give them wine, make it fun, make it enjoyable. Go on Pinterest and find some minute to win it games that are cheap, easy to do. So once you're done with your thing, you have some fun and they're like, they're playing games. All of a sudden they forgot how, oh, this was like a buy thing. They're having a great time and, and they were wanting to book the next parties while we were there. So it was like, can I do the next party? Can I do the next party? Cause we made it fun and we weren't making it boring and we were making the party about them and enjoying themselves and letting them sample things. And it was just a great time. So even if you're brand new and you want to have a host, have a party face to face with someone, you don't need to have a lot of stuff. If you have the sample kit, open up a couple packs of collagen, pour it in a pitcher and let people taste it. Open up a packet of greens, pour it in a cup, pour it in everybody's cup and let them taste it. Like you don't have to have a ton of stuff to make it successful. Just get people there. And you leaders that have teams and stuff like that, you need to reach out to your teams and say, all right, I know you've been in the business a little while, but we're going to launch you again. So we're going to do this right, right now. And we're going to get your business up and going. And I need you to start inviting people and I'm going to send you something to invite them and get it, get your page made or get the people there. And I will come to you and go above and beyond. I've said it to Tyler last or today. I was like, all right, so I've got this goal. If I launch someone that's within four hours or if I sign someone that's within four hours of me, can't hate the red girl. So I just got done with her online party. Woo -woo. Um, if I sign someone that's within four hours of me, can I go launch them? And he said, yeah, that sounds great. I said, okay, so what we'll have to do is I'm not going if you don't go. So I'll go as a family. We'll make it an awesome little trip. Go experience that wherever it is and spend a day there and then go do the party and come home the next night. Get a hotel, enjoy ourselves and see something new. You guys can't all do that. That's a lot. Some of you have several little kids, but to me, it's I, I know my skill and my skill is people and I like being in front of people and I know that I can sell things if I'm in front of them. So I know that if I can get myself there, it's going to be more powerful than being behind a screen. So I'm doing that for my team. Whatever it is that you can do, if you can do an online party, do it. If they live within an hour of you, get your behind there and figure it out and do it. Even if you got a baby on your hip and do it, you're sharing, you're showing people that you can do this business even with a little guy on your hip. Okay. It's going to be awesome. Your team's going to be motivated. They're going to feel awesome. And you're going to be showing them how to launch their business. And they're going to keep doing it from forward and forward and forward and forward. We've gotten so far away from doing this that we almost like forgot that that's a thing. I grew fast because I did parties. And now I've like gotten away from it. So we're going to start it up again and we're going to be a party team. And all of a sudden we're going to be growing really, really fast and doing awesome things for these new people on our teams instead of just like, so you can message people this message to see if they want to order from you. Just talk to people for them and do it. Okay. Does anyone have questions before our family call? Oh, I see some stuff in here. 